In this video, we're gonna dive into multi-calendar booking. It seems like assistable and therefore Nexus AI is constantly developing more beneficial things and ways that we can provide better services to our clients. Let's dive into the multi-calendar booking right after I tell you about Nexus AI. Nexus AI is a white labeled reseller of Assistable, which is my own, meaning that I can provide better support. I have a full training library. I have a couple week weekly calls where we literally go in and help you build out whatever you need to build. Right now, let's listen to this call showing how the multi-calendar works. Hi there. How hey, I, I would like to book today? an appointment with the uh, applications clerk, please. Date and time yeah, Monday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon the would be great. Let me check the availability for Monday at 2 p.m. I've booked your appointment with the applications clerk for Monday, April 7th at 2 okay. p.m. Your appointment with the application. I appreciate that. So the applications if you have any clerk is booked. And so, so that's fantastic. Now, I actually also would like uh, to book an appointment for the showing. Um, yeah. That'd be probably for 3 o'clock. That'd be sure good thing. for me. Let me check the availability for Monday at 3 p.m. I've booked your property showing from Monday, April 7th. I appreciate that. All right, so now let's build it ourselves. Let's start from scratch, okay? Create a new assistant. I won't do the generate for me right now because I already have the prompt, uh, but go ahead and generate an assistant for you. You wanna make sure you have two things in this or however many different options you want for a calendar booking. You're gonna to wanna to have the steps outlined in the prompt. I'll show you right away how that's done. So over here, as you can see in my prompt, I, I'm asking about, do they want to book a property showing or an, uh, a session with an applications clerk? In a case like this, what I need to do is now just uh, make sure that the calendar will actually book depending on where the client wants to book, right? Where the lead wants to book. So what, what do we need to do? Here's a couple of very simple things that we need to do. We need to add a little piece in the main prompt, okay? And this is gonna be what uh, might be referred to as a calendar matrix, as a calendar ID, table, whatever you wanna have it, okay? So, I already have that piece here. I'm just gonna quickly copy paste that in. I thought I did, it looks like I don't after all. Uh, I'm gonna just paste these two pieces. Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna say here is calendar options, calendar matrix, whatever you wanted to call it, that's, that's all cool. Now what we need to do is we need to get an ID for each one of these calendars. But hey, we obviously don't have the right calendars here. Let's go ahead and create a couple of calendars. Let's go over to our calendar section here. We're gonna create a new calendar. I'm gonna, in this case, simply choose personal booking. I'm gonna say um, property showing calendar. And over here, I'm gonna say property showing calendar. I'm gonna put some numbers behind it. Uh, so that it does become valid. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to first do that. Good. All right, now we have this done. We're just gonna confirm that. This is perfect for testing here. Now let's go ahead and just create a second one. That's also about as fast as that. Applications clerk and applications clerk. I'm gonna just do that. And it looks like it's unique enough that it works. So here we go, confirmed and done. Now what we need to do now is very important. We need to go ahead and grab <clears throat> the IDs for each of them, okay? Now we go back to our assistant builder, okay? Quick and easy, doesn't take long. In here now, we're gonna go back to our assistant, open up that one that we were just working on. I'm gonna rename it multi-calendar for property managers and I apologize on the spelling. That is not the important thing here right now. Let's get this over with so you can get it installed for yourself. We're gonna have this ID for our applications and we're gonna have this ID for our property showings calendar. Okay, now here's a very crucial step. How can we get that to, to select both calendars? Because we can't actually have two calendars selected here. First of all, as you're gonna notice here, I just had these come up, but I still need to add them to the assistant. So I need to go ahead and get the availability. I need to go through this whole process here for each one of them. It takes a couple seconds. And then we're gonna do the same with this one. For every calendar that you wanna add, you're gonna to wanna to do this. Oh, that one failed. All right, so let's go ahead and resync the calendars. And I don't need these ones anymore. Uh, it's probably just gonna show up right away again. Still there. And we're gonna just walk through this again. Uh, 
And there we go, it was successful. Now we're gonna add this to assistant as well. So what you just notice here now is that we still only have one selected over here. However, knowing now that the tool set works for booking on multiple calendars, we can just add the calendar IDs right in here and that will help us book on multiple calendars. Now, the next thing we need to do, and this is the last thing before we can start testing, um, as far as the, the, the multi-calendar setup goes, we just need to go over to version two over here and add the details right here. I'm also obviously gonna have update user details. I'm gonna just quickly drop this in here so that it's gonna function a little bit more consistently, which is just a good trick to have. Just always make sure you add the, the name of, especially update user details in here just for a consistent pulling of the information. Um, and that is especially if you're actually collecting it. It looks like my prompt doesn't <laughs> right now have it. This is a test prompt, so I have not manipulated it. Um, I'm just gonna say use. These are details to update the name, email, and phone number as whenever they are shared. Okay, let's go over to testing. First of all, obviously we need to connect the phone number. Let's go ahead and do that right here. Oops, wrong direction. Back over here, multi-calendar. This is the one we were just working on. Let's go over to our settings. Uh, for the phone numbers, let's click on those three little dots and let's go ahead and select our multi-calendar PM. And you can pause this video if you want to have a little bit of a slower process. You could even slow this down, I'm sure, if you if your player has that availability. Here we go. Let's go ahead and give that number a call right away here. Hi there. I'm Riley, your AI assistant from Sunrise Property Management. How hey, I, I would like to book today? an appointment with the uh, applications clerk, please. Great. Let's get that scheduled for you. Do you have a specific date and time? Yeah, Monday at two o'clock in the afternoon. The would be great. Let me check the availability for Monday at two p.m. I've booked your appointment with the applications clerk for Monday, April seventh at two okay. p.m. Your appointment with the application. I appreciate that. So the applications. If you have any clerk is booked, and so so that's fantastic. Now. I actually also would like uh, to book an appointment for the showing. Um, yeah. That'd be probably for three o'clock. That'd be sure good thing. for me. Let me check the availability for Monday at 3 p.m. I've booked your property showing for Monday, April 7th at 3 p.m. Cool. I've booked your property showing for Monday, April 7th I at 3 p.m. I appreciate that. The I actually just realized my two o'clock won't work. Can you cancel that one, please? Let me find your 2 p.m. appointment so I can cancel it for you. I've canceled your 2 p.m. appointment with the application. I appreciate clerk. that. Thank you very much. Your 2 p.m. Well, that is how you set it up. I hope that's been helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions along the way. Let's get you helped out.